Hello everyone and welcome to another mini Disney Q&A. Uh, today's question comes from a lot of different people. Actually, this is sort of a video that I've been putting off because I've sort of answered this question before in the past, but I keep getting these questions, so I feel like having one sort of go-to video with my answer on the topic would be good to have. But uh, the one that sort of uh, prompted me was, came from Z Duval 11 plays who asked, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Avatar Land? Also, what do you think of Disney Springs? Uh, to the add to that, I also often get asked, what do I think about the ideas of Cars Land in Disney World? What do I think about the idea of Star Wars Land? Uh, just sort of that idea of what do you think about these big proposed projects? Um, and I figured I could tackle them all at once because I sort of approach them with the same mentality. And that is one of cautious uh, optimism. I mean, I I trust Disney Imagineers. I trust that they will always try to put together the best experience possible. Um, and I think they create attractions and rides and areas that are really immersive and really fun. And so I'm looking forward to see what these have to bring. I think with a lot of these, we don't have enough information to really uh, sort of hunker down and, and settle on a decision. Now, Avatar is an interesting one, right? I'm going to go through all of them sort of separately because they'll have little per like things about them that are specific. But like Avatar Land, for instance, we're totally not in the mentality for Avatar Land yet. We have to understand from our perspective, Avatar is this one movie that came out a couple of years ago, was super hyped, was either OK for some people or a letdown or people loved it. But it was just a while back, you know, uh, but you have to understand there are three other Avatar movies in the works and it will probably be out by the time this Avatar land is up and running. So it's a totally different mentality. It'd be like asking what we thought about adding a Marvel land, you know, before the first Iron Man, like or right after the first Iron Man movie came out. It was too soon. We wouldn't have realized just sort of what the behemoth of Iron Man became. So for all we know, you know, by the time Avatar lands up and running, Avatar will be like this big franchise that is continuing and growing and it'll totally fit in. I mean, Animal Kingdom was always destined from the start to have a section that focused on uh, fictional animals that didn't really exist, mythical creatures. It was originally going to be like dragons and stuff like that, but, you know, they're no more real or, uh, you know, or, or mythical than, you know, I guess the stuff from Avatar, I guess, when you consider like the type of dragons that Disney would use. You know, there are real dragons, just not those type of dragons. Um, high Komodos. Um, so I, I'm, I'm optimistic to see. I think, you know, as I was, a, I was okay with the movie. It didn't really blow me away. It was actually very forgettable for me, but uh, it was a very beautiful movie. And so I'm interested in seeing what sort of beautifully immersive world Disney Imagineering could come up with. Star Wars Land, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Throw it in there. I can't wait. Give me Star Wars rides and Star Wars shops and cantinas and restaurants, and I'll take all of it. I can't wait to see that happen. I'm so excited. I'm going to be like a child at Christmas next year when Episode 7 comes out. Uh, and I say that as somebody, I grew up when I was a teenager, you know, I got to live through the prequels, and I loved them at the time. I ended up realize, realizing I didn't really enjoy them as films, but that sort of excitement over these these upcoming films is something I'm excited to, to have again. Um uh, Disney Springs, which is downtown Disney, sort of being rebuilt into that. I like the idea that they're sort of centralizing everything to have one central theme. Uh, I'm not super psyched with the theme. The theme is sort of like it's a Florida town pre, you know, the pre-Disney era almost, almost. And I guess I'm not into that because for me, I like the idea of immersing myself into areas that I can't go to normally or out of you know, the norm, for instance, Tomorrowland is there's nowhere in the world that's like Tomorrowland or, you know, I could go to a jungle for Adventureland here, but I'm not really going to go to a jungle to be realistic. So to have it be sort of like a quiet Floridian, you know, waterfront town, it's like, well, I could just go to a quiet Floridian waterfront town. I'm in Florida. But that said, all of the concept art looks really beautiful. Again, they have some amazing designers and I think it'll be cool. I'm a huge fan of change. I think you know, change is important for Disney. It's important for life. You you don't want to become stagnant and just do the same thing over and over or get used to the same thing. So I'm always okay with changes like this. Cars Land, I can't wait to visit whenever I eventually get myself out to California. I don't think it'll come to Disney World. I think that rumor, I think now that we have Star Wars, you have Avatar Land, you have Frozen being the success it is, I just don't see 
Cars Land happening. Maybe it will, and I'm wrong, but I, I, I guess I don't see it happening because I think Disney will want to keep that special to California Adventure so that you have more of a reason to make a trip out to California. Like I mentioned, part of the reason I want to go out there and see Disneyland, aside from the history, is so I can experience Cars Land because I can't do that in Florida, and I think Disney realizes that people think that way. Anyway, so that's just what I think of all those things. Uh, you know, when it comes to a big change like that, more often than not, my opinion's gonna be, I'm excited, let's see. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it will be bad. I will rarely be angry about them taking something out. I might be angry about the way they take something out. For instance, you know, lately the Backlot Tour has been rumored to close. If they don't make a formal announcement and, you know, give it that send-off, I'd be a little bummed because that ride has a lot of history to it, but I'm... The idea of swapping it out itself is not something I'm upset with. Anyway, that's uh, the short mini MC Magic uh, Disney Q&A for today. I'm trying out this format where it's shorter videos, but more frequently, rather than like longer videos, but every couple of weeks. Let me know what you think about that, whether you'd rather see shorter ones more often or longer ones uh, less often, because I love hearing your feedback. And if you have a question for me, any Disney related, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, and I'll try to get to as many of them as possible. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.